Next, we will look at the problem of web spam. So the problem actually became very um, important with the rise of the web search engines. So let me first define what do I mean by web spam, right? So spamming, it's really um, any deliberate activity to boost um, the score of a web page or their web page position in the search engine uh, result page, right? Um, and this means that basically what, what the goal is to kind of boost the value of a given page. Um, so spam in some sense are web pages that are the result of spamming. And actually there's a whole industry of people in some sense that are trying to do this. And this is what is called as search engine optimization, right? And there is a kind of gray line and these people might disagree, but basically the idea is how do we boost an importance of a, of a given page on the web and make, make sure it appears, let's say, on the first page of Google or Bing results. And it has been estimated that around 10 to 15% of web pages on the web are actually spam. So how did spam, uh, web spam really work? So early search engines operated the following way. They would go and crawl the web. So basically they would go and collect the web pages. They would then index the web pages by the words they contained. And then whenever somebody searched, they would basically look at the given web page, see how much does it mention the words in the search query, and then it would rank the search results based on the number of times they mentioned a given um, search query term. So um, what this means is that basically the idea for the initial ranking was to attempt to order pages by matching a, que uh, a search query by importance, which means that basically the search engines would, would consider the number of times a query words appeared on the web page and maybe also the prominence of the word position, whether that word was in the title or in the header of a web page. So now that also is very, allows us to nicely, uh, nicely spam and exploit this idea. So imagine the following. Imagine that when people began using the search engines for, uh, on the web, um, those that with the commercial interest, maybe people that are wanting to sell something, they want to exploit the search engines and make sure that people uh, go and visit their own pages. Right? So um, the idea is kind of we want our page to appear as high, as high on the web search rankings as, as possible, regardless of whether that, is, that page is really relevant to a given topic or not, right? Because driving traffic to a website is good. So let's look at the example where we have a, a t-shirt reseller who wants to appear high on the whenever people search about movies. Maybe this uh, t-shirt reseller is selling uh, movie related t-shirts. So he wants to be as high as possible whenever somebody searches for the word movies, right? And the technique to achieve this um, boost in the relevance or importance of a web page, this is really what we mean by spam. So here is how, how the first uh, spammers did this. This is called term spam. So the idea is the following, right? The idea is that for our t-shirt seller, he creates the web page and then um, wants to appear this web page to really seem to be about movies. So what the web seller can do is he can take the word movie and insert the word mo movie 1000 times in the web page. And usually how this was done in the early days of the web is that we, you would have a web page where on the top was the legitimate text and at the bottom was a huge list of words and the, co the text color of these words was the same as the color of the web background. So kind of they wouldn't bother the user who, who comes to the web page, but the web search engine would see these words and would think that this particular web page is all about movies, right? Um, and now, of course, when somebody will see and run a query um, on, on movies, this web page would appear to be all about movies and the person uh, would go and get it ranked higher. So this and similar techniques to this one are called term spam. Let's look at how Google came up with a solution to combat term spam. So the basic idea and the basic intuition here is that rather than believing what the page says about itself, let's believe other people uh, what they say about the page. So in our context, this means that we want to look at the anchor text. So this is the blue text underlying the hi hyperlink. What does that text say about the page that it is linked to? So the, in some sense, the idea is that we are able to find web pages and, and surface them out even if even for queries for the words that, it, that the web page itself doesn't even mention, but other web pages on the web may mention that word when referring to the target page. And of course, now we already know how we can use PageRank, so we can think of PageRank as a tool to measure importance of web pages on the web through this idea of the anchor text. And the question is, why does this method works, right? In our 
hypothetical t-shirt seller example, basically the, we can combat him. In a sense that now say if it was very easy for the, for the t-shirt seller to say, to put the word movies on the web page many times and say, hey, I'm really about movies and not about t-shirt. But from the t-shirt seller's perspective, it is very hard to convince other pages on the web to link now to our tellers, t-shirt seller's web page and say that this web page is about movies. Of course, and this is now where we are basically coming to the notion of web spam, where the idea is that what a web seller can do now, they can go and create 1,000 web pages um, that each link to his uh, t-shirt seller web page, and each of these 1,000 web pages use the word movie in, in their anchor text. And this way, for example, now we are having the notion of web spam, where the idea is that these web pages um, have, um, are creating false links to our t-shirt seller web page and this way boost the importance of the page. Of course, one thing is now that, for example, these pages have no inlinks, so they will get very, very little web page, uh, page rank score and this page may still be linked uh, low. So the, the web, sh the t-shirt seller um, person, it's very hard for them for, for them, for example, to beat a truly movie related web page like IMDb. Of course, even this scheme can be beaten. For example, if there are big coordinated efforts where people put a given anchor text and link to a given target page, then what can happen is that this given target page can be ranked very high even though um, it doesn't mention a word. And here is an example about a coordinated effort, about a given query, um, and about a given uh, target page.